Hi, my name is Helmut Schmerniak and I like to present you the Helios Update Installer. And my plan is to do it in a way that I first, and let's quit this here, that I first show you the traditional way how you get updates. And this is basically going to the Helios website and then clicking on support. And in the support area, I have a little screen capture here, um, go to intro updates and in this area intro updates you can basically uh, select download um, updates which will bring you to a special authorization page where you have to enter your serial number to go ahead. If you don't have uh, your serial numbers ready check your installation. Please make sure that you own a service agreement. The service agreements are shown here so uh, check with your dealer or Helios partner um, that you have a service agreement, otherwise the serial number will not work here. But I'm switching now to the way how we do it, and uh, this is not using a web page, this is using a terminal and uh, running the full automated Helios update installer. And I show you how it's getting done. First I describe this. Basically we have a couple of steps. One is uh, to SSH into the server and you need to get root, however you're doing it on some machines, maybe you sudo root or sudo sh or just um, switch to root. So that's easy and you can do this remotely from everywhere when you have SSH access to the server. And SSH remote login is the preferred way because this way uh, you can do it remotely and there is no need to sit in front of the console or to mirror the um, console display on your screen. So the second step is, and this needs to be done one time only, which means uh, once you have done this it will be stored for the lifetime and you don't need to do the steps again. So the first step will be to collect all your serial numbers and write them down and you need to um, set this up in the Helios Update Installer that it knows um, what kind of uh, serial numbers you have in use and uh, this will be verified against uh, our system to check that you have permissions to download the updates. Then a second step, it's straightforward, create a directory somewhere where you like to store the updates. Basically all the updates getting downloaded and need to be stored somewhere so that's my place slash mount updates. And the um, next one is um, specify the update directory in the Helios update installer called HUPD. So this is the one time only part and step three is download all the updates and this gets done in two, um, oops, first, here we go. Uh, this gets done in two um, steps, downloading the description first and in a second step selecting the required updates and download it. Basically entering the asterisk means download every, select everything and then download everything. And finally installing all updates, it's a very very easy task. With the um, HUPD uh, we have a menu item called Express Update. So let's do it. I SSH'd in into the server already. I'm root, which means okay, I can go ahead. And now let's call HUPD. So user local oops. Helios bin HUPD. Here we go. That's the update installer. And I told you about the serial number part. You need to go to uh, setup general. Here you can specify the um, folder where the update should be stored. And here in the update server or um, setup, you can specify a proxy in case you have no direct internet access and you need to go via a proxy and the proxy port. And you can add all the serial numbers you own. So I have done this a special serial number for testing purposes here. So once this is done, I need to create the directory and um, 
So let's do this here. Let's save, create a directory slash mount updates. Okay, HUPD, call it again. And so finally, say, let's download all the updates. Downloading means just getting them from the Helios um, website, download it to this directory slash temp, no, in, sorry, in this case, slash mount updates. So let's do this. What it will do is it will download a list of all available updates. And you see there are many on our system. And by the way, I'm connected with Wi-Fi to the internet. So that's why it's quick. Um, as you probably see from the screenshot, I'm running on a Mac OS X machine. Um, for this presentation here, it's, it's a MacBook and the system detects this. Now I can, with the space bar, toggle all the different updates, but I like to have it a little bit easier and select them all. So Shift 8 or basically asterisk means select them all, tap, tap, OK. And now the system will download all the needed updates from our server. And once this is done, you will find all the updates being saved in the um, slash temp updates folder. And I will show this in a minute when it's done. Um, so yeah, I have not downloaded updates for some time on this machine, so it will take a few seconds, but I believe uh, 950 or so is our update number. So let's go ahead and see that it works. So again, it's still downloading and my updates for the architecture Mac OS X. So 114 updates downloaded, okay. So let's quit this because I like to show you slash mount slash updates. Don't trust ls. Here you will see all the updates are downloaded and each update directory basically contains one update. So back to HUPD, to the update installer. So just to recap, I'm logged in as root number two. I have done the setup to spec and specified my serial number and my slash mount updates folder. And then I went to download updates, which downloaded all the updates from our server in two steps. First, the um, index of all updates, basically the list, and uh, in the second step, finally the updates. And now there are two options. One is to do a custom update just to specify one or more update numbers and to do it. But you probably don't like to use this. I prefer to run the express update. The express update will scan the system, and I'm doing it now. So it will uh, scan what is installed on the, what kind of products are installed on this machine, and then it will check out what kind of updates are installed. And I say okay. It will also check the um, free space needed. It will install all updates, and uh, yeah, it says all updates are installed. Great, so it's very, very quick and easy. And um, what else? Okay, next step would be a stop dash Helios. Oh, let's do it with now. So stop dash Helios now. And then um, start dash Helios to start our services. This will restart all services basically with the new applied updates. And once this is done, the um, status will show that all services are uh, up and running, so everything is fine. So one more time, back to the HUPD, the Helios Update Installer. You can also remove updates, basically um, saying, okay, I'm not so happy with this and this updates. Let's remove these two updates. So that's uh, also something which can be done with the um, Update Installer. I, I don't need to do this because I'm basically finished with my presentation. 
we updated our server and everything works, so I'm pretty happy about it. Thanks a lot.